For over 30 years, red deer in Czechia have refused to breed with other red deer a short distance away. Why is this, given that there's only forest and open land between them? And then one more time, for over 30 years, red deer in Czechia have refused to breed with other red deer a short distance away. Why is this, given that there is only forest and open land between them? I'm really annoyed about the second part of that question because I was going to go like fences. Yeah, river. Yeah, <laughs> but it is only forest and open land between the other deer. Okay. Oh dear, I don't know the answer. There we go. <laughs> Just get that one out of the way. <laughs> it's fine. Buck up, you'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Shall I round it off with a doe? Doe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was trying to work out that. <laughs> I don't know much about deer. They're, I saw one in Richmond Park once. They're surprisingly big and scary, the male deer is, with the huge antlers. <sighs> hold on, hold on. They're all male deer. They can't breed because there are no <laughs> female deer in the entire forest. I will say, clue number one for you, they could breed if they met okay. up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if they met up. It, it did say refused. Okay, fine. Yeah, refused outright. So is there, is there a fundamental difference between the two groups? Do they intermingle? It sounds like they're separate groups. It sounds like they don't mingle, even though they might be able to. Look, Yeah, I would say they don't. They don't intermingle, mm. uh, but they are the same type of red deer. There's no, like, they're just two completely separate deer. Oh, that answers types. my question about whether one and a half were robot deer meant to spy <laughs> in a documentary sense on the <laughs> deer. That's it. <laughs> so what came to my head is there's been some kind of Pavlovian training in there that the bit between them is a hunting ground. And so the deer refuse to cross that ground because historically, any time they do, they get shot. But it's not like the hunters are permanently there 24-7, ready to take out any deer that dares cross into no man's land. So I, I don't think that's going to be right. The area of Czechia is probably important, though. You're right. They're not related, are they? They're like two... Were they once one group of deer? Are we allowed to ask if they were one group that's separated <laughs> there, into two there, groups? There has been a schism in the deer community. <laughs> there is a long animated drama series about it that's harrowing from the creators of Watership Down. But uh... <laughs> I will say that's that's not a that's not a bad thought to have. It's an interesting thing to think about. Are the animals? Do we reckon that they're free animals, even though there might not be anything to stop them? Are they sort of captive in some way? Oh, is it? So they're not like the one side is old deer and the other side are like new deer. They always, do they always stay in their areas? They're not like the kids are over there. That's why we're not mating with them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do deer have a season where they're in heat and they have unsynchronized somehow? I don't think that makes sense, but I know very little about animal biology. <laughs> Uh, look, I'm sure deer do have a, a season in which they're in heat. Not an issue in okay. this case. Okay. I will say, if you kind of just took the things that you were saying and jammed them together a little bit, uh, you've had pretty much all the required ideas to get here. Huh. So ignore the deer biology, <laughs> but think about, but stay within the realm of what you've already talked about, and, you, and, you, and you're not getting too far. Is there something that's external to the deer that's, Maybe not preventing them, but like psychologically, deer psychologically, stopping them from crossing the gap. The deer psychology is stopping them from crossing the Someone gap. Someone released a load of mountain lions in that area, just in that specific bit of forest. Have they been playing Bambi on loop on an open <laughs> cinemas, <laughs> outside cinemas? I would say there, there is nothing stopping them. If a deer right now wanted to go across, if it wanted to... It'd get there. It'd be fine. No worries. Do deer hold grudges? Like, I, <laughs> I was just going to say, it's, you're, on, you're on the right it's track. It's like those two uh, fa families in the folk story. You know, the ones that have been warring with each other for so long, they've forgotten what the original slight was about, but they still, they still hate the McFarlands down the street. You, you guys are getting really close. Did something happen on a stag do? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> And anyone outside of the Commonwealth just went, what's a stag do? <laughs> uh, in Australia, it's a bucks night. Oh, so that still works? Still works. A bachelor party for, uh, for North America. 
you you you're right on the edge. Okay. It's not it's not about vengeance and grudges though. These these aren't star-crossed deer. <laughs> we're all trying to think of a Romeo and Juliet deer pun now, aren't we? Yes. We really are. <laughs> all of us. But there was <laughs> silence for several seconds where I was like, Dear Cuscio? No, it doesn't, it doesn't quite. <laughs> there, there, there are two houses, both are like in dig the oh, dig, the dig, no. the dig. It doesn't quite go. I never like Shakespeare. <laughs> That's fine. He doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> It's nothing to do with the sound of music. All I've got is a doe, a deer, a female deer going round in my head. But that's that's not Czechia, is it? That's the Alps. Hmm. Do they? Do the deer look the same? The deer are, for all intents and purposes, the same type of deer. They look the same. They act the same. In fact, they both have the same psychological holdover that's that's keeping them apart. So, is it something like a bit of history about the particular piece of land? Yes. What happened? Oh my God! Was the fence there originally, and then they just took the fence away, and then they were like, "Oh, shouldn't there just be a fence there?" Have they like remembered it? Yeah. So th- th- you've got it. They used this used to be. Now, fun fact: here's the little hidden an electric fence. Oh. An electric fence. It is pa- a bit Pavlovian, then, is it? Yeah. Like, it is fun. It is it is Pavlovian, but it's also generational. The fence has been gone longer than any of these deer have ever been alive. It is a learned behaviour from their parent deer and their parent wow. deer back from when the fence was there, and they have taught them, you know, anything the light touches is ours, but don't go into the <laughs> into the shadowlands. The fun little la- for, for people playing along at home. The fun lateral trick in this question was: it was red deer in Czechia have refused to deer with uh, breed with other deer a short distance away. This was a national border that oh. used to have an electric fence oh. between Czechia and Germany. Oh. 